Okay guys, we are going to continue with the third video for Hello Kane. So uh, we're going to continue with the second reactions of the Hello Kane. We're going to learn alkylations of the amine. So when the Hello Kane is treated with concentrated ammonia dissolved in ethanol as a solvent under reflux, okay. So uh, the equations can be expressed below. So um, we have a CH3, CH2Cl plus ammonia. Uh, where ethanol under reflux, you form CH3, CH2, NH2, which is a primary amine, and NH4Cl as a side product. So ammonia in here acts as a very good nucleophile and will readily undergo alkylation when treated with alkyl halide. So most of the alkylation of amine favor an SN2 mechanism. In other words, uh, this um, alkylations is better with a primary haloalkanes. So uh, the mechanism of the reactions can be expressed below where uh, you undergo the ammonia attack the carbons which is the partial positive uh, so you have an intermediate that is formed during the process uh, then you eventually form the ammonia in here so um, this is how based generally the alkylations of the amine has been carried out okay so uh, this alkylations is difficult to achieve because for each successive alkylations render the nitrogen atom more nucleophilic so alkylation of amine will occur continuously until all hydrogen atoms in the amines are replaced with the LQ so that is why in this reaction so we call alkylation because of this reason uh. so uh, you can see uh, from the step by steps of the replacement um, first the hydrogen is been substituted with the ammonia okay you can see that sorry hydrogen is substituted with the LQ then further substitution where you have this hydrogen substituted with another LQ then further this hydrogen is substituted by another LQ until you form a, what we call as a quaternary ammonium salt so for each different classes of the amines formed it is very hard to control the formations of the, this one especially when you have excess uh, haloalkane so eventually at the end of the product you form a quaternary ammonium salt Okay, however, if a primary amine is the desired product, then this process must generally not efficient because one mole of ammonia is treated with one mole of LQ halide. A mixture of product is obtained, so other examples of the mixture are shown below. So if you have a bromocyclopentane where you have ammonia, uh, this is just a mono substitution only. Yeah? So you have uh, bromocyclo, uh, this is a cyclopentane with amine, uh, amine, amine. and then um, you have this. Uh, this one, so this is how the generally the reaction take place. Uh, okay, okay. So this is the second reactions involving uh, haloalkane. So the third reactions involving haloalkane is the synthesis of the nitrile. So this is a method to increase the number of carbon by one. When haloalkane is treated with ethanolic potassium cyanide under reflux, okay, the main organic product. Uh, that reaction form is alkane nitrile. So the general equation for the reactions can be described below. If you have RCH2Cl plus KCN in ethanol under reflux, you form a RCH2Cn plus KCl. So not from the reactions in here, there is an additional of the carbons in the alkyl nitrile, hence prolong the number of carbon in the organic compound. So for example, if you start from the chloroethane, if you react with potassium cyanide in ethanol under reflux, you form a propane nitrile. So from the name, you can see that number of carbon has increased by one generally so the mechanism for the nitrile is also uh, SN1 and SN2 according to the classifications where you have a primary haloalkane uh, undergoes SN2 mechanism tertiary haloalkane as undergoes SN1 mechanism as shown to you in the mechanisms in here so uh, hopefully you'll be able to adapt and to propose uh, the step-by-step -step mechanism for the primary and tertiary haloalkane via SN2 and SN1 mechanism respectively so in here I've already shown very clear details of how the um, this uh, mechanism is carried out so hopefully you will also be able to prepare when the right times comes okay okay so LK nitrile form can be further uh, can be further form to other two organic products under suitable reagent namely an amine and carboxylic acid so if LK nitrile is further treated with acidic solution so hydrolysis of the reaction will take place where according to the following chemical equation where if RCH2CN 
react with acidic aqua solution under reflux so you form a uh, carboxylic acid with uh, ammonium ion is released so hydrolysis of LK nitrile can also occur in alkaline aqua solution where the hydroxide ion is formed in here so if you use a hydroxide ion in aqua solutions so you form a carboxylate salt plus ammonia is released as a side product so this is the first uh, reactions if you have a uh, LK nitrile uh, so you can end up to become a carboxylic acid via hydrolysis, uh, acidic hydrolysis or form a carboxylate salt via uh, alkaline hydrolysis and then this LK nitrile if you use a strong reducing agent such as uh, LiAlH4 lithium tetrahydroaluminate followed by acidic solution of H2O plus then it can be reduced to become uh, amine so this reduction uh, so according to the general equation where you have RCH2CN where you have uh, LiAlH4 followed by H2O plus so eventually you form CH2 and H2 yeah you can see the differences so hydrogen is directly added to the C and N inside there okay so now this uh, process not only can be carried out by using LiAlH4 for it sometimes can also be carried out using hydrogen catalyzed by the nickel heated at 140 degrees Celsius okay so a few examples of reactions are illustrated in the table below if you have uh, these reactions when you add it with potassium cyanide in ethanol you form a propane nitrile acidic hydrolysis will form butanoic acid reduction of LiRH4 follow h 2 plus will form a butene one amine and then if you have this uh, this is a uh, two methyl one uh, two one chloro two methyl propane. If you react with uh, potassium cyanide in uh, ethanol under reflux, you form a uh, two methyl butane nitrile. So if you react with alkaline uh, hydrolysis, so you form a carboxylate ion, and you react with hydrogen and nickel under heat thing so you form an amine okay so these are generally the third reactions of the uh, haloalkane then we also have uh, elimination of the hydrogen halide from haloalkane so in an elimination reaction the fragment of some molecule yz are removed from adjacent atom of the reactant so this elimination leads to the creation of multiple bonds so if you remove yz from uh, adjacent carbon that means carbon that are not from the uh, yz is not from the same carbon yeah so eventually you form a multiple bond pi bonds in here so in elimination of haloalkane a strong base such as uh, ethanolic as I told you just now potassium cyanide it's not uh, uh, sodium uh, it's potassium KOH under reflux, uh, it's added to attracting hydrogen atom and cause the living group to dissociate easily to form multiple bonds. So general equation for the reactions here, you can written as RCH2CH2Br. So you remove this HBr, so you form RC double bond CH2 in here. So uh, this is a type of elimination reactions here. Yeah? Okay, elimination haloalkane depend on the classification of haloalkane. So in primary haloalkane, usually only one product is formed since elimination of halogen is a single step reaction where electron, uh, electron flow directly to the elimination. So for example, you have uh, one bromopropane if you react with potassium hydroxide in ethanol under reflux. So you form a propene and also hydrogen bromide. Uh, this mechanism is just a side illustration for you to understand on how does the reaction take place. Uh. So eventually you don't really need to memorize this um, mechanism. Yeah? However, for a secondary or tertiary haloalkane, elimination uh, reaction take place by removing the leaving group halogen and form a carbocation. Hence, you are able to form different alkene that according to the CZF rule. Uh. So uh, in the elimination, you are following a CZF rule. So in CZF rule, is stated that elimination of the haloalkane yield better an alkene with more substituent group. Now there is an alternative explanation toward this where it is it can also be means that um, a carbon bearing a carbon bearing more hydrogen bearing less hydrogen sorry bearing less hydrogen is preferably to be removed. So uh, this is what happens in the eliminations of the uh, HX, uh, okay? So uh, depends uh, on what angle you want to see. So uh, for simplicity, I use this angle to let you see. Now, uh, for example, this is a 2 bromo butane. So if you want to eliminate 2 bromo butane, so there is a two possibility where HBr can be removed. You can remove from this rectangle HBr, or you can remove HBr from this opaque shape.
So, <coughs> so eventually, uh, this is a primary carbon, while this is a secondary carbon. Or if you want to look at the number of hydrogen, this one has three hydrogen, this one has two hydrogen. So according to the CZ uh, rule, it stated that a hydrogen, a carbon bearing less hydrogen is preferably to be removed. Eventually, this rectangles one is the most preferable to be removed, hence forming wood to in, which is the major product. And if the opaque shapes here is removed, so you form wood one in, in here, which is the minor product. So uh, these are all based on the CZ rule, so you have to follow accordingly. Okay, okay. So um, mechanism don't need to understand. Never mind. Okay. Uh, okay. Now for a tertiary halalkane. Okay. So why do we say that there are three possible product? So looking at this as examples where you have a tertiary carbon, secondary carbon, and primary carbon. So you can see in here uh, this one bearing one hydrogen, this one bearing two hydrogen, and this one bearing three hydrogen. So as a result, the one bearing the less hydrogen is preferred. So this H and this Br is the most preferable to be removed. This will be the major product. Okay. And then followed by this one. This one has two H's. So this is the second major. And finally, this one contains three H's. So this is the minor product of the reactions. Okay. So this is how you are applying the CZ rule in the elimination of the HX uh, inside a haloalkane. So uh, not necessarily that all uh, primary must have one, secondary must have two, tertiary must have three. No, it still depends on the haloalkane use. Okay. Okay, last but not least, we also have a synthesis of organometallic uh, from the haloalkane where I shall continue on my fourth video later. So see you around. Thank you.